first times. Do you remember your first time? I'm sure you've had quite a few at this point in your life. And so I want you to think back and get a hold of one of those pleasant first times. Did you feel a little nervous? Were you excited? Did you think about what you were going to do? Or maybe you wondered. Did you go and ask folks, what was it like? What should I do? Or maybe you didn't want anyone to know it was your first time. <laughs> there are many first times, as a matter of fact, for you all to come to our meeting today. You had to first Okay, I'm going to go to Toastmasters. I'm going to take the chance. Maybe you remember your first time speaking. Madam Toastmaster and fellow Toastmasters and guests, the first time I'm going to talk with you about today is going to district conference, of course. Mm -hmm. ah. Yes, we have a district conference in Toastmasters. And it's an event that often people don't attend until they've been in Toastmasters for a while. So I want to encourage all of you who haven't been yet, make this your first time. So why would you need to go to a district conference? You're already learning so much. You've already gone through so much just to get here. You have come to the meeting not knowing what to expect. You've prepared speeches and gotten through the nervousness and been able to hold on and learn some things along the way. I would suggest that for those of you who maybe have given four or five speeches, I really think you're ready because you're starting to get comfortable. This room, you know what your voice sounds like. You know how much space you've got to move around. You're probably even beginning to say, oh, if Peggy's evaluating, I know she's going to talk about body language or vocal variety. Bill Malthouse might talk a little bit more about certain words and how well you can use them. We're getting to know each other, our typical body language and the things that we say, and you're getting comfortable. When you go to district conference, you're not going to be up speaking. So what's the point, right? Let me tell you, you have a lot in store for your first time at a district conference. When you go, they will give you special attention if you're brave enough to let them know it's your first time. But then you will get to see other people and learn more information. For example, we have in our book a project that talks about body language and using gestures. And certainly it's covered then in our evaluations after that. But other than one particular focused speech, are you ever really going to learn a lot about gestures? Just coming to the club? Maybe, maybe not. This is going to be a great opportunity for you because one of the workshop breakout sessions is called, and I quote, Captivating Your Audience Using Effective Hand Gestures. So you're not just stirring the air around. They're going to teach you how to do a better job of communicating using your hands. What a great workshop! Above and beyond what you'll learn at a typical meeting. Let's say you're uh, considering this. Okay, there's this conference, and besides my regular meetings, I'm supposed to take time out of, oh, a weekend? And go to another Toast Toastmasters event? I don't want to just learn stuff for the job. Can you do anything to improve me, personally? There's a particular topic for one of the breakouts. 
Stop self-sabotaging and get the results you want. Stop self-sabotaging and get the results you want. I could use that in my personal life and my business life. Awesome. But the final piece, I'm sure that for a Saturday event that you're going to go and take time away from your family, away from business if you're one of the uh, realtors in the room, if you have a business that you work weekends too, what's the value you're going to get out of an accredited Toastmaster? That means Toastmaster International has said, this person rocks it. And what if that person is going to teach you something and entertain you along the way? Both our keynote and a workshop breakout session is a credit to Toastmaster Connor Kunin. I watched a little video clip online to see what I might have to say about him. Besides, he's hysterical. He has this wonderful Irish brogue. So combine that with the title for his speech. So hear this gentleman with an Irish accent saying, what Mark Twain learned me about public speaking. I'm not real sure how that's going to come across, and I'm anxious to find out, actually. So he is going to give us tips that he learned from reading about and learning from Mark Twain and his many books and speeches. So you get Mark Twain, you get Connor Kunin, you get various workshops, and top it off, the International Speech Contest. Remember a few months ago, we had our club contest? Consider the people that will be competing for that honor of being our district champion has won at their club level. Their speech won at the area level. Their speech won at the division level. And they are going to duke it out for that esteemed position of being district champion. Those speeches have been honed and polished and practiced and evaluated and tweaked. They are always inspiring and informational and a joy to watch. You will learn simply from watching your fellow Toastmasters. As a matter of fact, I think, Kenny, your first introduction to Toastmasters was a district conference. I got you to come to a humorous speech contest, I think. So you can see how even someone who was trying to avoid Toastmasters and got conned into coming to an event anyways, it was enough to make him decide to join Toastmasters. So there's great value for you beyond the club, beyond what you learn here each time we come and attend and practice. So I encourage you to look inside yourself. Remember that first time of what made you decide to come visit and join Toastmasters. You owe it to yourself to continue to stretch and grow and learn and give yourself opportunities beyond what you'll receive here in our club. Mark your calendars. May 17th. Pick up a flyer from me before we go. And I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you at the district conference. Madam Toastmaster.